Okay, so yesterday, if you guys were on stream, you guys would have seen that I was doing all my missions on the battle pass. We actually got to tier 12 in the first day of the battle pass, which is pretty pog. So I'm just going to be showing off the battle pass, playing one or two games on the video, just talk about the battle pass in general and what I think of it. So uh, first of all, let's explore what we have in the battle pass. Of course, we have the Petra which then levels up. I think level two looks pretty pog. Level three is also pog. Level one is eh. But um, I'm actually close to reaching that um, because uh, of course I have all the missions complete because I'm an absolute tryhard. I need 12 more wins with Petra to get her to level two. And also I will be getting my uh, podium to level two pretty soon as well. So then we have the blue Oni sidekick. Pretty nice sidekick. Uh, nevertheless, you also get the dark heart crystal avatar. Eh, pretty okay. And the podium, which then you can level up. Just like so. Pretty pog. Uh, level three is really nice, in my opinion. And you have the avatar. You also get these battle points boosters, which just like help you get more of those little emerald thingies when you do the earn battle points challenges. It's basically like XP, just playing the game, I believe. So, of course, I got the handstand taunt. You know how it is. The taunts in this battle pass are actually pretty fun. I'm not even gonna lie. Uh, Dragon Fire Cannon, pretty nice cannon. Also the Demon Gate, this is like the first loading frame that you can get without having a ranked uh, frame. Death Sour, this is by far one of my favorite avatars in this whole battle pass. This one as well, this one I'm gonna be wearing because this one's even more pock than this one. But uh, the Katara Dark Scarves, eh, they're okay, they could be better. You also get Mammoth Coins in the Gold Path, which is pretty damn cool. Can't wait to get a lot of Mammoth Coins earning this battle pass. Warm up Tom, you know, <laughs> just warming up. Uh, Devil's Hand, not my favorite sword skin, but it's a knife, so it looks pretty cool, I guess. <laughs> the whole nether theme. Um, Yokai Spirit Rocket Lance, uh, looks pretty okay. The eye looks kind of creepy, though. Dark Heart Takeover Avatar, Netherworld Artemis. I will be using this skin once I get it. It is a pog skin. The weapon skin is also very nice for it. Really great skin. Uh, Sleeping Demon Orb skin, pretty cool. Demonic Slab Axe, eh. Kitsune, Ninetail Fox. Ninetail Fox right here. That is a beautiful freaking sidekick. I can't wait to get this one. And also the push-up taunt. I will be using this <laughs> so much in games. That avatar is actually pretty nice. Um, It's a bit unique with the eye. It's, it's pretty cool. The Spike, okay, I guess. That's another uh, really nice avatar. The Rip Taunt. It's pretty cool. Imagine kill someone and then you just do the rip taunt on them. That'd be pretty, pretty pog. Uh, the hammer skin, very nice hammer skin, in my opinion. Burning Rose, it's an okay avatar. I think I'd wear it, though. Um, it's, it's pretty decent, in my opinion. It's pretty okay. Tango sidekick, very nice sidekick. Uh, <laughs> nothing more to say. Archfield Zer Archfiend, my bad. Archfiend Zerial, pretty pog. Fiendish Hell, uh, pretty good brassers in my opinion. Ninja Shadow, oh that is a nice avatar, man. All these avatars are actually pretty good. Ninja Sidekick, nice. Uh, Cursed Bow, eh, looks pretty basic, nothing special. Ninja Flip. <laughs> Hellfire Knockout Taunt, wait, they added a knockout effect? Oh damn, that's a really nice knockout effect. I have the Oni, okay. Chris Kunai, pretty nice. A Jiro skin. I think one of the best skins in about uh, in this battle pass in my opinion snakes charm avatar man all uh, they did a great job on these avatars in my opinion kung fu salute and then of course you get the soul fire universal color scheme for every single character um, up until then you just unlock random characters and then oh my <laughs> Very nice weapon skins, epic. In my opinion, the battle pass is uh, pretty great. I was not expecting less of it, and it's really nice so far. I like the way they did the general missions, the daily missions, the weekly missions. People were having issues with the Asgardian legend, so if you just press details, these are legends that were born in Asgard and Dinar right from another plane. So that's like Bodvar. Uh, you have Bryn. Uh, Thor. Thor, he's an Asgardian as well. All right, so I'm gonna be playing some games with the new color schemes then. Um, I actually got one for Wushang, which I think is the best looking skin slash color combo so far. Like, look at this, it looks freaking amazing. Um, Ogrim also looks pretty cool. I also got Cedra. let me see what it looks like on Cedra. That looks pretty nice as well. I don't play Cedra though, so rip. Hmm, that, that looks pretty nice, that looks pretty nice. But we're gonna be going with the Wushang for now. I think the Wushan looks great. The frog looks pretty cool as well, but I think this one just beats it all in my opinion. It is freaking amazing. I don't even play Wushan, so we're just gonna be playing some games. I'll probably just end up killing myself. 
don't mind my gameplay. It's the train, the morning. I'm still, uh, I'm still, you know, trying to get, trying to get good. <laughs> so we could just go spear. I'm um, also uh, patch notes. Let's talk about some patch notes. So apparently, Nair Ser on gauntlets is now true. I believe so. That is a freaking quick combo you can do, and you can get many people out with it. Then just ground pound in. Um, also, they there's no variable force on delight on uh, spear anymore, which is pretty pog. So that means people won't fly off of your uh, combo once you do uh, side light delight into whatever you know. That's pretty cool as well. Uh, blaster side light got a uh, damage buff, I believe, which is pretty pog because I actually main blasters, so I was pretty happy about that change. They also uh, nerfed a delight on axe, I believe, making it like I think a uh, less range on it. If I'm if I'm correct. Oh my god, the guy disconnected. No. Uh, Scarlet one. It doesn't really look that nice in my opinion. It's okay, but I think the lance looks pretty cool though, with, with this color scheme. It looks like a kind of a neon lance. Oh lord, we got Platelgrim. <laughs> oh come on, man. He just. Bro, let me not talk. Let me just not talk about Ogrims, please. I actually need uh, a few more petrol wins to get the level 2 on her, which is pretty pog. I mean, I could just grind the whole day and just get it, but then again, I, d I don't want to be grinding the whole day. So, I just, you know, experience the battle pass. I usually play better, like, uh, end of the day. In the morning, I just play, like, trash. So that's why I'm recording the video, just to show you guys I'm the worst player. Bro, <laughs> nah. Nah, but the battle pass, dude, it's 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 amazing. It's amazing, honestly. I know, like, all games have the battle pass, but I I, I like the way the, the missions actually have sense now in the game. Rather than just being for gold coins, which no one really cares about. That was a nice ground pound, by the way. But you're not gonna get that other one on me, dude. Oh, shit. This is scary. Alright, GG's. Yeah. Yeah, Petra's really good, uh... People are actually gonna be playing Petra a lot because of this new <laughs> battle pass. Like, literally, I have 40 out of 50 wins on Petra. It's pretty pog. Wait, is it wins? Is it actually wins? Wait, let me just check. I, I'm probably... Level 2. Petra, get wins. Oh, no, it's just wins in general. Anyways, battle pass, really nice. I recommend you guys buy it if you guys have the money. You'll get your money's worth from this battle pass. It's really cool. You guys should definitely get it. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I know I've been uploading a lot recently, but since there's so much new stuff happening, I just felt the need to. If you guys did enjoy, be sure to smash that like button. Also, be sure to subscribe. We're in your 600 subs, guys. So let's try to reach that goal if we can. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.